to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, just hanging out with Gritty here in Philadelphia. Flyers ready to roll tonight. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Flyers win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. There's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Oh, so good. What a stop. Now, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he is behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. The Flyers move to the offensive zone. A feed out front. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Kane's good at stick handling around defenders, and that's his puck on the string zone ability. It's what makes him so dangerous. Victoria is usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Hooked away by Sider. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Ayrson. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. What a great read breaking up the pass. shoot or deke and while he's thinking he's running out of real estate official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck frost won the draw here in the offensive zone we got a stop and just the puck sails over the glass Detroit's won the defensive zone draw. And he slides it quickly to Perron. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice, coughs up the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Raymond's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And that's blocked away. Sends it quickly to Copper. in front. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck the midway mark in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Larkin's won it in their own end. Slides it across to Dabrinkit. Chris one in close. Oh, and he makes another save. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Too much congestion in front. Just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Philadelphia's gone in front by one here in the back half of the first, and how does this change the complexity of the game? It's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James, and they're ahead now, so they've got the go-ahead goal and I want to continue to press. Know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. Cuts to the front, and that carries off a body in traffic. Shot! Wow! What a stop by Ayrson! 
And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. With the blast, blocked in front. Under all sorts of pressure, trying to protect the puck. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Oh, what a save on the play, wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Knocked away. Shoot it. Oh, this is turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Scooped up by Larkin. And he keeps that one out. 
The Flyers move it in. Here's a shot. Oh, great save by Lyon. Quick pass to Larkin. Across the line, down the left wall. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Fires it on net. Great save by Lyon. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Moves it to Larkin. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. Detroit's got possession at center. Kristalinen's, oh, well, that's gonna be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. They'll play some four on four. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Textbook stop by line. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Cops ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Red Wings win the draw here in their own end. Here's a shot. Green erected off a stick. Slides the puck down low. Philadelphia's got it behind the net. And that doesn't reach the net. The Red Wings gain possession in the defensive zone. Penalty coming up as the play is blown dead. Late in the period in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Puck grabbed by Larkin. Sends a pass over. And he makes a save there. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Detroit's won the draw to start the period, and they go right back to work on the man advantage. Centering key off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Taken by Paley. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. The Red Wings get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Made the stop on the play. Receives the pass. The pass in front, takes a shot. Quick feed down low. Taylor's a shot, and that one's stopped. Rocks him. Takes a shot. Oh, he gets a blocker on him, but a stop by Ayrson. Well, he's got such a great set of hands, and he displays such. He's got a step. Good on. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one on one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly From the left side, moves it up ahead. And he's knocked off the puck there. And it's a quick pass to Konechny. The Flyers have it now. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Konechny. Shot! Oh, what a paddle save on the play! Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Back and forth action. Back and forth penalties. As one from each team are heading to the box.
A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. A few ways to play a four-on-four. -four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Philadelphia's got possession of the puck. Slips the pass in front. Oh, it comes up with a stop. And a strong effort on that play. Philadelphia staring down a shutout late in the game. You know they're going to do the best to protect their goaltender to ensure that they get it. But at the end of the day, it's about bragging rights. Listen, the other team isn't able to score. They're not able to penetrate the inside of the ice and cash in. You're feeling it, you love it, and you're going to share it. And that turns off a body in the lane. And now it's grabbed by Stahl. Puck picked up by Frost. The Flyers looking against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Sealer. Frost has been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Atkinson's carrying it ahead. Detroit's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Picked up along the wall by Petrie. And they send it right back to him. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Comfer's taking it from his own end. Detroit's got it along the wall. Slittering feed! And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. And sends it just out of reach. Detroit's looking to break out. Feeds the puck to Raymond. Pokes it away in his own end. The Red Wings really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. And into the wild from Cage, it's an empty net goal. Uh, and a sigh of relief as well, as it's a real insurance mark. Uh, you, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. The Flyers maintain that persistence like they have all night long. They add the empty netter. I think that's fair to say. This is, this is over, right, Drew? Oh, it's over, James. No question about it. You can see the elation on all the faces and on the bench. They know it is a hard-fought battle, and they get the W. Lawrence at the bench along for the extra attacker to jump off. Scores! And they finally break on through offensively. Uh, and that's got to feel good, and they're hoping that the floodgates will now open because you know that they it just hasn't gone in for them, James, but they haven't gotten frustrated. They stuck with the game plan, and here they are. The Flyers aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Detroit's won the draw in the neutral side. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Philadelphia's attack first mentality really on display tonight, and Cheryl, a huge reason why they won. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you here, James. I mean, there's multiple ways to attack the net, but when you're shooting it, you're also disrupting coverage on the rebounds, and that's what they did extremely well. They were very effective, and they finally put it by. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See you.